Like general public news outlets, Native American news organizations like FNX, Indians.com, The Navajo Times, and more are working across the country to keep their communities informed about the coronavirus outbreak. Alyssa London, Clinkett, spoke to Indian Country today about the effects of the virus within our communities. Mark, can you speak to how coronavirus is affecting Indian Country? Well, um, as we've been reporting this pretty uh, substantially, the um, one of the first episodes involved Confederated Tribes of Umatilla in Oregon, and a tribal employee working at the casino tested positive. Uh, the tribe, and this is really, I think, important, took immediate steps, shut down the casino for a deep cleanse. They shut down the tribal daycare center, even though the person had not been there. They shut down a couple of other places and um, basically went through a very sophisticated protocol almost immediately. And it really became a question of best practice. Following that, we heard that a tribe in Washington state also shut down. And even though they didn't have somebody who had tested positive for the coronavirus, they were taking precautionary measures. So as we continue to follow the story about um, the coronavirus, we're looking at how it impacts Indian country. Now we go back to the same tribe, the Umatilla, and we're hearing reports that some of the local uh, merchants are refusing service to Umatilla people because of this scare about the coronavirus. And that's, uh, you know, that's racism. And it's very much what the Asian people are facing. Coming over from China, people are afraid to be around them. You have to be smart about how you're going about protecting yourself, and you can't worry that every person coming from Asia is potentially impacted or carrying the coronavirus. So we're going to continue to follow those um, uh, stories and then also keep account of how many uh, social events in Indian country that are being either canceled or postponed. Uh, one that's really interesting coming up is the uh, Indigenous Tourism Forum set for Albuquerque, New Mexico, and they postponed that. And you think about the significance of that, where you have people coming from all over the Americas to one spot and had one person been affected in that group, they would have taken it back to places like Dominica or Ghana or other places throughout the Americas. And so for that one was very prudent to say, we're not gonna do it. So when it comes to indigenous tourism, the coronavirus is affecting it substantially because in some ways we can't even open our borders and allow people to come in if they're from a different place because it would just spread extensively, correct? Tourism is probably the hardest hit industry almost immediately and that's gonna impact tribes uh, greatly because of casino resorts. Uh, everybody knows that one of the first reactions people have something like this is to quit traveling. And um, that will impact Indian country because we have a very significant tourism. If you look at industries uh, in Indian country, just tourism and gaming would be number one. So how is Indian country interacting with the federal government in order to get ready for a potential outbreak or seek aid? There are a number of federally funded tribal epidemiology centers and uh, they've been doing a variety of things. I mean, the first thing at this point is information and to make sure that there's plenty of information about what to do. Um, Native people, like all people, when you're presented with clear information about what best practices are, when it's your health, you're willing to do that. And so right now it's a question of getting out the information as quickly as possible. Um, in so many ways, it's preparing like you would for the flu. And um, even that we know from uh, history has been just devastating to Indian country in different episodes. And so being able to prepare for a virus that the body just doesn't have immune symptoms for or immune facilities for, I think is really important. And what are some of the ways that Indian country can get the best and most accurate information about the virus? Well, of course, IndianCountryToday.com. <laughs> I think probably from a medical side, uh, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC.gov, is uh, the most accurate, complete, and they're really good at taking uh, people and putting them together and saying, this is what we know today, this is what we don't know today, and here's how to proceed. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the coronavirus and how it's affecting Indian country? The thing about Indian country is we've gone through many episodes like this over the centuries. Um, we were impacted by the smallpox uh, epidemic, for example, even before contact. And uh, that shows that uh, people already know that they've got to prepare and be ready and to do the right things. And so you think it, it's uh, proactive that schools are closing and workplaces and people are staying home so that we can have a more slow rollout of the virus opposed to it being a crisis? Exactly. I mean, uh, so the trick for public health is to try and get people 
to, it's not the numbers of people, it's you don't want them to have them all at once. And by slowing travel, what you're doing is making it so that there's more of a long wave rather than a crisis. And for public health, that's really important because if you get people all sick at once, the public health system can't respond. But if it's the same number of people over six months, then the doctors and medical uh, can handle it. And I think that's where we're at right now is trying to make sure that that big spike doesn't happen. So Indian Country Today will continue to be a good resource for Native people on how to keep tabs on the developments of the coronavirus. Is there anything else that you would like to share with Native people about how we can protect ourselves and stay safe in this time? Um, practicing good hygiene, but just washing your hands. And honestly, people should wash their hands for 20 seconds every time they wash their hands, not just when we have a coronavirus scare. More information about protecting yourself from the coronavirus, symptoms and testing, and what to do if you're sick is available at cdc.gov coronavirus. Hey.